NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, good luck to all our athletes who will be competing there in Beijing. Yes, we will definitely be cheering you guys on at home too. Absolutely. Why don't they have the Olympics here? We've got plenty of snow on the way. Yeah, especially with tomorrow, <laughs> Tyler. Yeah, what a way to usher in the Winter Olympics for us. We have a big time snowfall on the way. And it's interesting, this is not an ocean storm. It's not a nor'easter. It's basically a clashing of air masses. We've got intense cold from the north, mild, moist air to the south, this front that'll be over us. And what that means for you is that the valleys are not left out with the big time snow totals. A lot of times, you know, it's less low and a lot more snow higher up. I don't think it's really that situation this time around. Everyone is included on the heavy snow. It's still 41 in Burlington. You wouldn't know a snowstorm is coming. But once the front comes through tomorrow morning, that's when we run into issues because it'll be wet early on, too warm but a flash freeze expected just after the morning commute tomorrow. So a layer of ice is possible with the heaviest of snow expected tomorrow night into the early, early hours on Friday. So this is a neat way to show how hard the snow will be coming down. This is 630 tomorrow morning. Not much of an issue in the Champlain Valley, maybe a little more in the mountains. But watch as we go through the day. This is four o'clock tomorrow. Half inch per hour snow for a lot of us, even the Northeast Kingdom. That's moderate snow. That is adding up type snow. And then a heavy snow once the sun sets. This is early Friday morning at one o'clock. One to two inch per hour snowfall. That is for especially central and southern parts of our region. And then it really shuts down fast Friday morning for northern areas. And then some snow showers will linger to the south on Friday. How about the resorts going into the weekend? It's a solid foot plus, maybe a foot and a half for Jay Peak, Stowe, Sugarbush, Killington. Less as you go down to Mount Snow, but Whiteface, where Upper Skyward is now open, will be really cool this weekend. So we can see the rain and snow moving into the St. Lawrence Valley. A lot more moisture off to the south and west. That takes its time getting here. It's warm overnight. It's 41 now in Burlington, but even overnight, we're still way up in the 30s. So first thing in the morning, it's a waiting game for the greater impact. But as we go through the day, the conditions get worse, the ice and then the snow on top with the heaviest of the snow being Thursday night, one to two inches per hour. You can see the back edge though, eight o'clock Friday morning coming through the Champlain Valley. And I think for the rest of Friday, the storm just breaks up and snow showers left over. Could be like an extra inch during the daytime on Friday. So snowfall, it's a widespread six to 12 inches. But notice this circled area here, central and southern Vermont. That is where we have some lollipops, if you will, above a foot of snow, especially in the higher spots. So I want to show you a couple areas here. Burlington, a solid foot of snow. Can't say that very often by Friday morning. We have another stop here along the way we go south. Rutland has a better chance to be just over 12 inches by Friday morning. And the jackpot could very well be somewhere in that area up in the mountains. 13 inches for Lebanon. So that's what I mean. The valleys are not left out in the big time snow. So a very high commute impact for later tomorrow. Still high Friday morning, but by that point, I think the treatment at least and some of the road crews will have the ice issue picked up, but there's a lot of snow to clean up Friday morning. It's cold too. This 38 tomorrow is very, very early on. So you look at that Thursday night temperature, the Friday high, most of the snow falls with temperatures in the teens. Then we've got a bluebird day there Saturday cold but sunny and more clouds for Sunday with a high of 24. Much of next week looking nice with highs in the 30s at that point. Brian, Alice. All right, Tyler, thanks.